everybody! Today I am going to show you how to do a, a late Victorian style that I found a picture of on the internet. I'm going to include the picture in the description bar below. Um, let's get started! Um, for this style you're going to need a brush as always. Um, you're not going to need as many bubbles as my last couple of videos but you're going to need a couple so um, Either keep them handy, stack them up on your wrist, however you find <laughs> is the easiest way to do something. Um, you're also going to need a length of ribbon. My ribbon isn't that great, I'm sorry, and it totally doesn't match with my outfit, but this is a demonstration, so this is what we have today. So, of course, first of all, start out by smoothing out your hair. Um, mine is kind of wavy at the moment because I'm filming this on the same day as I filmed the Jane Eyre inspired uh, video and I just took my hair down from that and of course it just picks up braid waves really easily. We're going to start out by sectioning the hair um, into two. You're going to need your front bits which is easy for me because these are the bits that are shorter than the rest and your back bits. Mm -mm whop them over your shoulder and tie them back however you find easiest to keep your sections. Now take your ribbon, fold it in half to find the centre and when you have the centre point you need to temporarily pin it to the top of your head. It's very important that you get the centre otherwise it'll look a little strange. Right, now you need to divide your hair on each side. Oh, this sleeve is mad! It doesn't usually do this, it's just when I'm filming for some reason. Divide your hair into two and then with the ribbon as your third piece, English braid. When you reach the end, tie it off. Sometimes it gets a little tight, but it's important that you get it um, as tight as possible so that you don't lose your place or anything. And then run the ribbon around the bottom, the excess ribbon, and tie it and smooth it out so that it hides the bobble. Do the same on the other side. Now, when you have both sides, you take them up by the ribbon ends and wrap them over your head. Oh. And if you have a fringe like me, your fringe will inevitably get in the way. You can take the two um, pins out of the top, by the way. Now, you should probably do that before you wrap your braids over your head because it gets really difficult if you don't. Now, at the two sides, you're going to want to put preferably long pins in to secure them. Hide the pins as best you can and hide your ends as best you can. Make your nice little crosses to make sure everything stays put. And 
And then when your fringe inevitably goes mad and decides it doesn't want to be where you've put it, you need to brush it back again. Or you can wait till the end and just brush it there. But I am one of those horrible perfectionists that needs to have my hair where I want it at all times. So I am going to brush my hair back to where I put it in a second. No, hide, don't try and that, that's better. Don't worry about these two pieces of ribbon for now, they can just hang its side for now. With your remaining hair, smooth it out again. I hope this is going to work this time because I realised that my last video you didn't get a very good shot of the back. So I am going to try really hard this time. Um, hang on. How's this? Right, I hope this is working. Divide your hair into two. Twist it as you would when you're starting a cinnabon or a twist bun or whatever you prefer to call it. And then twist the hair up into sort of almost a bun. Not quite though. A coil, it's more of a coil than a bun really. And then secure with pins. Ow, 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 I'm sitting on my foot. <laughs> Again, if you have long pins, use your long pins. And again, as always, hide them as best as you can. I find um, using a couple of long ones to do most of the securing and then a couple of little smaller ones at the top helps. Just keep it steady and where you put it. As always with more symmetrical styles, you do the exact same thing with the other piece. Like I said, I hope you can see this properly. <laughs> Managed to get my sound mostly okay now. Just need to iron out my faults with um, picture quality. I suppose it's not really the picture quality is the problem, it's the, that everywhere in my house seems to hate me as far as lighting is concerned. You have a choice of either horribly overexposing everything or I just look yellow and I don't particularly want to look jaundiced or like one of the Simpsons so <laughs> this is the best we have. Nice and secure now. Take your two ribbons, run them over your ears, like behind your ears, because if you run them over it hurts. And then if you have enough ribbon, make a little bow. I don't, so I have a little knot at the bottom. And there we have it. And what is this strap doing? Seriously. And at the front again, obviously. This fringe. Why? Why do I insist upon having a fringe? And there we go. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. As I said, I will include a picture at the bottom. Um, I'm probably also going to take a picture of the back of my head so you can see it better just in case I didn't quite get in shot there. Um, hope you enjoyed this video. Please hit subscribe. If you liked the video, hit like. If you didn't like it, hit unlike but if you didn't like it and you unlike please tell me what could make my videos better because I like constructive it helps me um, please follow my blog which I will link in the information bar and um, I'm sorry for that loud banging there it would appear that someone around here is getting some sort of DIY done see you soon goodbye <laughs>